Hey guys, we're watching Volgor's videos here in uh, my office. I never say that, but my shack. Ooh. Yeah, I never record in this thing, except like once. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, after I got that uh, Dozeki's Ambar, oh my god, that's that's probably the biggest let I've ever had in beer. I mean, in my review, I gave like a six point something, but actually, really in the price range and everything else, and the, you know, as a whole, I didn't change my review, like, put a thing in my description that says more like a, a four. I mean, because it doesn't get you drunk. I mean, if, if you're a lightweight, if you feel a buzz off of that. Um, there's no body, no, no fill, no, ugh, it's just so... I mean, the Stendo Zeki's is overpriced, but at least you know what you're going to get. This, it it's, looks like it's fancier, and the worst part is, I thought it was going to be good because, uh, I'm not going to say the name, but a re YouTube reviewer, beer reviewer that I watch a, a lot of all the time, said it was actually good, and usually he, um, you know, pisses all over any other beer, but unless it's a high dollar IPA or whatever, then then it's good, but other than that, you know, I was surprised he said it was actually good, or decent, whatever he said, so then I tried it, and I was really disappointed, that's the, that's the biggest disappointment I've had in a beer ever, I think, really, because I've never had my hopes up for anything else, anyways, enough whining about Dozeki Zamber Ale, this is about a classic that I know is good, and I've I've looked on my my channel. I need to prop, prop the vid camera up with something. There, maybe that'll work. On some cigars, cigarillo, whatever cigars. Nice and cold. Um, not frozen, which is nice. That I had a frozen Dos Equis and Bar. Ugh. Man, at least at least with Steel Reserve or Hurricane or whatever malt liquors like that, at least they get get you drunk. I've never had a frozen uh, high gravity, but at least it would have the alcohol in it. That That's like drinking, I don't know. Anyways, enough of that. I'm trying to get off that page. Um, yeah, I've had this many times. I, don't, I just thought for a second. I was trying to remember the first time I've had it. Um, no, I can't remember the first time I had it, but the last time I had it was probably last summer already. Wow last September something like that and uh, we were watching um, oh, fuck what was that movie um, the Blues Brothers that I've watched it for the first time I didn't know how good it was and I finally watched it and it's surprisingly good because um, usually most um, Saturday Night Live themed movies with the cast for Saturday Night Live usually are okay but not great but this was a great movie anyways let's crack it open I got the information on uh, my iPod here. Um, so Paul Reed. There we go, Cole 45. Okay, the Beer Advocate gives it a 55 out of 100. A lot of the ratings are pretty low. And uh, for some things, I don't know. I just, I just don't drink expensive beers, so like another thing is like really you have to be that suck up to give it that low of rating, whatever. Um, the bros give it 6, 65, poor, and the average rating is 2.26, which the thing I don't like about beer, I I mean, I don't know, it's kind of weird getting, I base my reviews off of 10, you know, 1 shit, 10, amazing. But, um, damn, dog's going off, uh, but in here, the base off is 5. Crack it open. Not a whole lot of smell. It smells golden, I guess. Hoppy. Fresh. Golden, champagne esque. 
It's actually got a head to it, unlike uh, Dozaki's Amber. Lots of bubbly going on. Oh yeah, I was gonna look up the uh, percentage. 5.61, which is kind of low um, compared to Old English, which is 7.5. Uh, I wonder, I've never had double malt. I'm very curious what that's like. I've had a, uh, a year or two ago. I had actually maybe it was last year. I can't remember a year or two ago. Um, they had Colt 45 high gravity, and that was pretty strong. And that was 8.1 or whatever it was. I think it was 8.1. Anyways, enough chitter chatter. Let's drink this. Makes me hungry. I had my breakfast like at three o'clock and slammed the microwave and I was happy. But now it's 6.57 I'm starting to feel hungry again. So I think I'll save the rest of this up when I eat some top ramen or something. But yeah, the smell. It smells a little corny, you know, that typical yellow-esque beer smell you get with yellow beers like uh, Miller. But um. I compared this a lot to Miller, but this is more of a, to me, Colt 45 and MGD are very similar, but I don't know, I need to have them back to back, which I don't know when I'm going to do that, you know, I have to have more money to do that. We'll see. MGD is, is priced a little bit more than the standard Miller. And uh, it's also, I don't know, it almost seems a bit cornier, but it seemed really corny. You know, corn grit, that taste. It seemed really corny after I had a Dale's Pale Ale. And then I came back to uh, MGD and I'm like, whoa, give me back that Dale's Pale Ale, which. By the way, I, had, I was going to do a review on that, but I went back to the store the other day, and the one beer store, or the beer, you know, the one store in town I thought they had it, don't, doesn't sell it anymore. So unfortunately, I can't review that anymore. Unless, they ha unless I find somewhere else that has it, or order it online, which I'm not going to do. It costs way too much to do that. Um, but yeah, once you have some, some high dollar, like a pale ale or you know, whatever, have something high dollars high adjunct and you go back it, it, it does really twist your mind You're like whoa how whoa like really but if you don't go drink some high dollar and you drink something like this it does taste pretty darn good and this is only a buck 56 for 24 ounces you know that's pretty cheap um, Kind of sick of this band. This one fits in. Um, it's very thin, very easy to drink. Um, if you're not, if you're um, drinking lighter, thinner beers, whatever that may be, I don't know, Bex, just those Ekis, I don't know, thin green beers. Rolling Rock is a good example. That's, that's a good cheap one, unlike the rest that are overpriced. Because, you know, I figure a beer is only as good as its value. A lot of people don't see that. I understand what so many people, so many reviewers and so many people on YouTube, they review a beer and like, this shit sucks. I mean, I'd rather have this beer that caught, that that's this, it's a pale ale, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's also twice the price. You guys still reserve? Suck it up, drink a couple, and then after you have a couple, you get used to the taste. It's 8.1. Guess what? You get the same percentage and it's half the price. Or, damn, probably a quarter of the price. You can get 225s or 224s, because you know they're bumping size, for 240 or 250, whatever. And it's, that is half the price, if not less. Anyways, um, compared to MGD, I was going to say, 
MGD is a bit more, maybe a bit more cornier, maybe, I don't know, but very similar. But this Colt 45 is cheaper. However, it's harder to find. It's harder to find Colt 45 in anything besides a 24 ounce or maybe a 40. I thought this store had a 40. And I wanted to get that, but um, they didn't. So oh well. I almost got um. What was it? I don't know. Hams or just, I haven't had hams in a long time. I don't know if, if you're new to my videos. I've got a hands light right there. But, uh, yeah. But, yeah, if you're, anyways, what I'm saying was, uh, if you're, if you haven't tried too many malt liquors and you want something easy to drink, Colt 45 is a good place to start. I mean, Old English, it's, it's a great choice, but if you're not used to malt liquor, you might get. You know, you might get the beer face, and you might not. You probably wouldn't like it. Colt 45 is a great start. It's a great, it's a great beer all around, really. I mean, my, my review, I think it's worth a solid eight. The value's there. It's easy to drink. It's, I even, it's got a little bit of lacing. It doesn't have the biggest head. You know, it's not the most highest quality beer, but it's got all around value. It's kind of like. You know, you got your BM, your BMWs and your uh, Mercedes and whatever. This is kind of a rough comparison. Or how about a Toyota Avalon? A Toy Toyotas and your C Camrys. They do cost more. But if you have uh, an old school Chevy that's cheaper and gets the job done, this doesn't have to be true. I'm just making an uh, analogy. If you have a car that's more expensive and it has more fancy things to it, it's more expensive. Here's the one that's cheaper and old reliable. Gets the job done. And if you're going to drink something this color and this thin, easy to drink, you might as well be Colt 45. Because MGD, that's only 4.5%. This is 5.6, you know. It's an extra bump up. I wish I had more, though. I wish there was another variant. But yeah, that's my review. Let's chug this down. There is a little bit of alcohol esque aftertaste, but it's very minor. I mean, compared to the other malt liquors. It's probably one of the better ones. Um, I haven't had Magnum in a while. Uh, Mickey's Mickey's is like a completely different. Whoa, that was weird. A completely different taste. Actually, to me, Mickey's tastes a lot like a harder Rolling Rock, in my opinion. So, if you like Rolling Rock and those ones, I don't know. I think, but I think I'd rather have Colt 45 than Mickey's. That's just me. But yeah, I think it's a solid eight. It's bang for the buck. Here we're talking about. We're not talking about what has the most hops, the most, the most, this, most that. This has the most bang for the buck. No, it doesn't have the most percentage, but it's got the most drinkability. This is something you can you can sip around and you won't have, have to worry about getting too hammered for whatever reason. This is a good diet. If I use that word loosely, good diet malt liquor. Because it's only 5.6. You're not going to be. I don't know. You're not going to be screaming at any walls with this one. Well, let's drink a bunch of them then. Okay, well, I conclude this video. I'm, it's gone way too long. Thanks for watching. See you next time.